What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, as Anthony would say, we're taking apart a motor. Um, so the Evo motor is finally going to come apart. I have my buddy Fabian stopping by. Um, he's a big DSM guy, so he knows these things in and out. And being that it's my first time taking this apart, it's going to be a good learning experience. Uh, we have a couple of friends stopping by, so it should be a good time. Um, in the process, we will obviously keep you in the loop, see what we do and see what kind of damage we find inside. Hopefully it's not terrible. All right, Fabian's here, showed up three hours late, but that's all right. So we're gonna take apart the rear main seal. Main seal's coming off. Then what? Then head. Then head. Then timing stuff, then head. Oh, timing stuff, then head. And then the block. We already have the, the rod cap caps out, so we'll get the main caps out, get the crank out, and then I guess that's it. Fabian said he'll be done in 15 to 20 minutes, so we'll, so we'll, just, uh, we'll just sit here and watch him. Right, boys? Yeah. All right. All right, so I can't keep up with Fabian over here, writing bags and hardware, because he's too quick, but we got the head stud nuts off, and the head studs are coming out, so we can pull the head. All the timing components are off, all the brackets, everything else that goes along with that. I don't even know what happened, to be honest with you, it just happened. Um, so the head's about to come off. Let's, let's hope that's not stripped. Here 
she is. Let's go. Let's go in and let's go in in the video. Fabian said it. Do it. So we have a little more damage than anticipated. All the mains are no good. So chances are this crank is shot. So maybe maybe we won't be maybe we won't be building this one now. That one's got a little discolor It's not terrible. No, the block is still good. Yikes. See, see this, so, is, this, this is my brother. He's a hater. Does this mean, oh wait, does this mean we're not gonna go on? It was on uh, the other side. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. Right there. Well, it's got some damage. Well, luckily the top of the... That's a, that's not, that's a weird spot on this though. Oh, actually, I guess that's really not. That's pretty bad. That's the bearings being pushed through. Yeah. Oh, right. So that's what damaged the thrust bearing? Yeah. Well, and then that stuff that Chris was just pulling out. Like, look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that's what that's fucking exactly killed it. That's what it looks like. That little, little piece. Of that's a good thing. This camera doesn't focus very well. I'm trying. Up. Power? No. It says something fucked up. Wait, yeah, so fucked up power. That's just yeah, that has a measurement on it. Like uh. All right, so the motor is all apart. Cylinders are good. The cradle is good. Pistons and rods are good. The crank, not so much, but we'll check that out. If it can be polished or cut or something we'll figure that out uh, once we send it to the machine shop um, these are all the parts that came off of it today intake manifold and head that's all okay so our only thing is just the crank so we'll, we'll check that out um, and go from there What's up guys? It's been a few weeks since we got the motor apart. Fabian definitely gave me a hand on that. Um, I don't think I'd be able to do it as quick as he did. So everything's apart. We sent the crank and the block as well as the, the pistons and everything to a machine shop to get everything checked out. Um, everything came back already. I have everything back. I actually have two blocks um, 
that I did get checked out. So both of them spawn main bearings. Um, so basically when that happens is things tend to get out of round with the cradle um, as well as the, uh, the journals. So they are unfortunately out of round. So the next step is to send the blocks out and I decided I think I'm going to send everything out to uh, boost in performance um, as they do have a really good reputation with 4G's um, they've, they've obviously worked with them uh, a bunch they have the fastest stick shift 4G in the world now so I feel like it's a good move to kind of send everything over to them have them go over the blocks make sure they're usable if they're not they're not then I'll have to buy a new block to work with which would kind of suck because I have two of these so hopefully what they could do is just line hone um, the bearing surfaces and and then we just use a little bit of over an oversized bearing which usually is very minimal and it's still safe to use so I think that's the move uh, the, the both, both the blocks as well as the the crank that I want to get will go to Boostin and um, have them build the motor um, and we'll take it from there uh, so that's kind of where we're at with everything after we, we disassemble disassemble the motor so the next step is just to just to kind of keep things moving the motor is expensive obviously it's a lot of money to spend so it's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of save up for that send them the deposit send them everything that they need get the ball rolling plus it's going to be probably a couple of months before i get it back so it's going to be a long process now that we know that the the um the whole motor has to get rebuilt we have to get a new crank because the crank that we have is scored too much and it's probably and it's also bent um, so that crank is pretty much unusable I know they fix stuff like that but I'd rather not risk it I, I'm going to get a new crank so so that way everything's nice and fresh so the motor will get new pistons new rods new crank and um, and then we'll take it from there so um, also I'm going to send them my head the head's gonna get ported gone through and then they're gonna basically assemble assemble the whole long block with timing components um, you know valve cover to oil pan so that when it comes back it's pretty much ready to drop in and I know the motor is sealed it's ready to go from them um, and whatever they have to do whatever tricks that they use or whatever little little details that they they put into the uh, the motors um, it's all done and over with and I won't have to worry about it as much I know this is not ever a bulletproof type situation there's always things that could go wrong but um, I feel like I have a lot of confidence in, in doing that so I'm gonna spend a little bit of extra money and send uh, and send the blocks and everything out to them so they can um, they can refurbish and put everything back together for me so that way it's just a, a whole long block ready to go um, anyways, if you made it this far into the video, thanks so much. I appreciate it and uh, I'll definitely catch you on the next one. We have some exciting news coming up on the next video, which will be uh, different from the car stuff. So it's, it's shop stuff now. So uh, hang, hang tight for that. We pick up something cool for the shop and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.